Now, some real crazy story <laughs> start come out now. Eddie and Ketia to play for Jamaica. What? Welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it. And let me make it, let me just make this clear. One hundred percent. Let me just make this clear. Um, before me, before me do anything, I say anything. I make this clear. This makes absolutely no sense to me at all. None whatsoever. So may I go make that clear? In my view, this I don't know where the story coming from. Um. The, the root of the story. Anyways, so these these are the I'm gonna tell you the media outlets that are reporting this story. One football, the Daily Canon, Sports Bible, Look Sports Media, The Sun, Tribal Football, and a plethora of other media outlets on um X so called Twitter. I'm like, what? No, first of all, let me tell you why this just doesn't make no sense to me. Eddie and Ketia, parents, Elizabeth Assam and Edward and Ketia. They are both Ghanaian, 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 Are Ghanaians, Ghanaians, Ghanaians. <laughs> yeah, they are both Ghanaians, which means that where is the eligibility to play for Jamaica coming from? So, to me, I wonder how this makes sense to anybody. It, it just add up, people. I tell you, it just add up. No, maybe, just maybe, I don't know. Maybe his grandparents, just maybe his grandparents, um, have some Jamaican heritage. So just, just maybe. Just maybe. But if I hear the name Enketia, you know that that's not Jamaican. <laughs> that is not Jamaican. Anyways, let me just read, run through the article. Now, none of the articles I've read so far specifically speak about its eligibility. Where is it coming from? If I grandparents and great grandparents or somebody down the line. None of the articles went into that. Now, let me read Former Gunner wanted for Jamaica set up despite England appearance. Steve McLaren, McLaren wants Eddie and Ketia to play for Jamaica, but Crystal Palace believe they can get him back into the England setup. Um, Eddie and Ketia, after signing for Crystal Palace, um, Eddie and Ketia has always, previous represent, has always previously represented England on the international stage, playing for his country from U18s to the first team. But with only one appearance for the senior side so far, Enketa is technically eligible for a change of international allegiance. Alan Nixon reports on his Patreon that Jamaica, Jamaica boss Steve McLaren is open to convince um, Enketia to represent them instead. Let me continue. <laughs> Enketia is, well, that's a, yet Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace are convinced that their new signing can boost his chance of making it back into the England squad with a run in their first in, um, um, this season. So the club, is, the club is actually convinced that, hey, Jamaica is not the right choice. We, we, we can provide you with enough minutes, um, albeit you perform well, you can, make, you can break into the first team, but we will certainly provide you with sufficient minutes so that you can break in. So the club has said, hey, no, that doesn't make sense. Um, Palace spent big on to bring Crystal Palace to the club, paying 25 mil plus um, 5 mil add on and potential, um, potential add ons to sign for Ars um, signs from Arsenal this summer. They clearly believe that if he gets a consistent start, he can score as often as he used to in youth and club football for, and for, for the country. Um, the strike had 35 goals, whatever. Yeah, well, yeah, something I'm not going to read But as I said, people, none of the other than the, the media outlet there. We mentioned um, the, 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 the 
Patreon. Let me go, let me go back up by Alan Nixon. I don't know that media outlet there. I don't know that media outlet. I don't me, me not see. I don't see nothing night. It just, it just, it just makes sense. Honestly, it doesn't make no, no sense at all. And as I say, um, none of the articles I've not mentioned is eligibility. Where, where is it coming from? Who makes him qualified or who makes him eligible to represent Jamaica? It, so that just to make no sense at all. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play, I'm going to read something. This is what Eddie and Keta speak, um, spoke about um, representing Ghana. Um, this is what he said. Eddie Nketa, Arsenal striker Eddie Nketa says he's open to play for Ghana in international football. Nketa, 25, was born in Lewis Ham, England, but but both of his parents, Elizabeth Assam and Edward Nketa, are both um, are both from Guyana, and they are Guyanians. So it makes it makes him eligible to play for the Black Star. Eddie Nketa, who grew up in England and has played for the youth teams from U18 to 21 and was given his first appearance in, with the Three Lions in a 1-0 friendly win over Australia in October the 13th, 2023. Um, this is what he said. The rapid growth of the talent in England squad has reduced his chances to make it to the first team again. As a result, he has now opened the door widely, to, widely for other others, others team. This is what Enketa said. My parents are both um, Guyanians, so yeah, of course it's possible. It's a possibility, you know. And Ketia told a beautiful game podcast. I think I'm open to both, whether that that's playing for Ghana and obviously England as well. Like you said, I played for England youth team, so naturally, when I was obviously younger, it's, it just made sense to expect becoming a tree lion. If they Guyana call me up to go and play for them, I will be there. So. Technically, he said, he's, he's, for where that is concerned, we kind of leave the door open for both. And all of this is just, just a minute of sense to me, if I'm being honest. And one of the people, I know, I know in Jamaicans, I know some of the reggae boy supporters here, you will see person come in the comment section and say, MG Sports do one, the coach bring in you know, a heritage baller, this, that. But sometimes it's just really important for us to read and try to listen and understand. You, me can tell, like, I am guaranteeing you will see persons making that comment. I, I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about it. But this just makes no sense to me. If it makes sense to you, explain it to me in the comment section, the sense that it makes. And if you know more than I do, and more than what has been, um, been announced or, or published, or published in, in the article in regards to his eligibility, Please go in the comment section and tell me about it. Because me search, I do some search, I'm not asking nothing on that, where that is concerned. Both of his parents are born, bred um, from Guyana, Guyanians. And it, me don't know, me, me can't change nothing else from that. So this is just a minute sense. Me don't know. Is this a case of the agent seminar in England? No, say, once him throw Jamaica, the name Jamaica and I hear, reggae boys and I hear, their clients get another look in on the Cena team. Or whatever, whichever team, the Cena or the U team. Just throw Jamaica and I just once once they're in England and you play ball in England and you want to play for England, just throw just mention Jamaica. And you'll see England start zooming on you. The FA starts zooming on you. So I mean I don't know if that's one of the cases. But technically it just a minute sense now. I mean I think the FA must know his eligibility. What's that like? So maybe there's something more to it than I know why they would feel um, so confident to publish this. Just just saying. But for now, from what I know, maybe I'll do a follow-up video on it. And and for what I know at this present moment, I don't know of his eligibility. And that would be quite interesting. So maybe there's more story to come out in regards to this. So look out for me doing another follow-up video on it. Anyways, big up on yourself, people. Smash like button, hit subscribe button. And I'll see you guys again. Enjoy the rest of the day, people. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Boom. Road. Now I mean.